The Lightmatica mod is a fantastic Minecraft mod that I didn't know about until recently, but is super, super helpful. And I'm going to teach you how to install it and how to use it. So I'm separating this into two videos. This video is me teaching you guys how to download and install the mod so that you can use it. And the next video is going to be how to use the mod. So if you already know how to download and install mods, then check out my next video. I'll have it linked on screen right now or I'll have it down in the description. But if you don't know how to download it, then watch this video and I'll teach you how. So there are three links down in the description below. There's a link for the Lightmatica download, a link for the Malilib download, and a link for the Fabric installer. We need to download Malilib because Lightmatica requires it. What we first want to do is go to the Fabric installer link and hit download for Windows. Once that's downloaded, we can then open it and you want to download Fabric for the first version that you're going to be using. So for instance, Minecraft 1.19.2 is the version of Minecraft that I'm personally going to be using. So make sure to select 1.19.2 in the dropdown. If you're going to be using a different version, for instance, if you're using 1.18, make sure to download 1.18.2 instead. But we're going to be using 1.19.2. So select that one in the dropdown and hit install. Once you've installed the fabric loader, then what you want to do is go to the other two download links. So for Lightmatica, if we are going to be using 1.19.2, which is what this tutorial is for, you then want to go to the file area and locate the fabric 1.19 download link. As you can see, game version 1.19.2 and it says fabric. So this is the version that we want to be using as we installed fabric for 1.19.2. So we just hit download here and our download will begin in just a few seconds. There we go, so that has downloaded now. So then what we want to do is go to Malilib and do the exact same thing. So we want to go to the file section and we want to find Malilib fabric because of course we're using fabric and then 1.19.2 because that's the version we're going to be using. So make sure to follow that step. If you're using 1.18 for instance, make sure that it's fabric and then find the 1.18.2 fabric link instead. But we're doing 1.19 to do that. And then hit download and same process, the download will begin in just a few seconds. Then what you want to do is open your downloads folder. As you can see, we now have the two mods that we have just downloaded and we also have the fabric installer, but we've already installed fabric, so we don't need to worry about that. Then what you also want to do is open up your mods folder. Some of you may not know how to get to your .minecraft folder and therefore your mods folder. What you want to do is come to the search bar down in the bottom left and type in percent app data percent. This will then allow you to open up that app data folder and then you can find your .minecraft folder which you can then open. Then once you've opened that, you can then find your mods folder. If you don't already have a mods folder, you can just do new folder and make a mods folder. But if you already have the mods folder, double click to open it. Then once you're inside your mods folder, you can see all of my mods that I already have. If you're doing this from scratch, you probably don't have anything in here, but these are the mods that I use. Once you have your mods folder open, you then want to come back to your downloads folder and select both of your new mods that you're going to be installing. Then you want to drag them over into your mods folder and they should be there, ready to be installed when we open the Minecraft launcher. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you then want to make sure that you have selected Fabric Loader 1.19.2. This is what we have just installed with the Fabric Loader. You want to make sure that this one is selected. If it doesn't appear in your drop down menu, what you can do is go to installations, hit new installation, and then under version, you can then scroll until you find Fabric Loader or the right version. Make sure that it's fabric loader and then the right version you're using. So we're using 1.19.2, so we hit that one and this is the one that it's going to load. This is basically going to allow us to load the mods that we want to use. And then once you have that selected in the drop down at the bottom left, you can then hit play and Minecraft will load. I really, really hope that this tutorial has helped you guys out. If you wanna learn how to use the Lightmatica mod, make sure to check out my next video. I've uploaded them at the same time so you can go and watch it right now. The link to the video will be in my description and it will also be in the icons of this video right now. Thank you so much for watching. If this video did indeed help you out, don't forget to subscribe to make sure to stay up to date with all of my awesome new content. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, please don't forget to hit the like button as it greatly helps the channel out. Thank you so much for watching and until next time this has been Salmon Up and I'll see you in the next one.